I had to cancel a magazine subscription today. This is a magazine I've been reading on culture and public affairs and current events. And it just gets me depressed because they're always predicting doom and gloom, that everything is going downhill, that there's no good future. And so I decided to cancel it because it was just dragging me down too. I don't like to think that way. And then today I picked up the newspaper and it was talking about how people today get all their satisfaction from their jobs, from their careers, and not from the traditional things like church or family or community associations. And I said, oh, well, gee, you know, this is even worse, you know? People are putting all their hope in their careers. That's gonna last until the next recession. You can say those things as long as the economy's good and people have good jobs, but that's not really much of a source for our happiness. And I came across this little gem from a letter of St. John that we don't read as much as we should probably. And I really thought it had the answer for us. And it says, Beloved, who is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever possesses the Son has life. Whoever does not possess the Son of God does not have life. I write these things so that you might know that you have eternal life, you who believe in the name of the Son of God. And that's really what we Christians have to put our hope in. We have life because we know the Son of God, and he gives us that hope and that life. It's not in the things of this world, it's not in the job, it's not in even how the trends are going. It's in the person of Jesus Christ. If you like this video, make sure you like it down below and then share it with your family and friends. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.